All right, so uh, let's get moving. I need you to get some jumping jacks in, please. Word. There we go. Nice and easy. Be kind to those joints. If you are as active as I am, recovery is just as important, if not more important, than the actual work output that you put forth. So, nice, easy jumping jacks. I got a shoulder thing going on. I got a knee thing going on. You've probably got your own stuff too. And guess what? We're gonna work through it together. All right, let's go 10 more jumping jacks. Get those molecules moving, get the heat up in the body. Garage, I mean that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, that's 10, and huh, crank kick. Okay, okay, so let's just twist, twist and shift, low those hips, twist and shift, low those hips. That rhymes, it's not supposed to rhyme, but it did anyway, so just whatever. Deal with it, shift to the left, load that left hip, reach to the right and up to the left. Conversely, load that right hip, reach down on the left, reach up on the right. What's up? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Oh, bring those knees up to the chest. I wore something you can see my feet today. You're welcome. Ugh, you don't need shoes for this. You usually don't need shoes in my class because um, I want your feet to flex and extend and get stronger. Pull those knees to the chest, extend the grounded hip. Ugh, what's up? Two more each side. What's up? Bruh. Bruh. One more. And what do we got first? Okay, so let's take a moment to warm our wrists up as well. You're gonna shake them out, shake them out, shake them out, shake them out. I want you to gimme, 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 gimme. We're gonna be on our hands and hands for three of the movements today. So gimme, gimme, gimme. Chop, chop, chop. Puppy dog. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Chop, 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 puppy dog. Uh, flex, extend, flex, extend, flex, extend, flex, extend. Now, lunging beast looks like this. We're gonna be on the ground and oh, stretch those feet out, stretch those quads out. Uh, so you're in a uh, frog position, loaded, right? Push back, you can see me a little better over here maybe. And what I want you to do is, here's the base movement. You're gonna spring forward and step, okay? Maybe that's all you wanna do. I'll show you from the other side. Step, you don't have to step as far as I do. You can step here, reload, you can step here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the time. You guys go ahead and start moving like that, please. And here's, I'm gonna show you a few different options. So, that's gonna be base level. If you've got the range for it, get that foot all the way up by your hand. If you want to start drawing back that opposite hand, opening up the chest, that's totally cool. And if you want big bonus points, you're going to step and you're going to kick that back leg right through. That's covering a lot of ground, so I need to move back a little bit. So step and kicking through. Keep your hips off the ground. Pull it back, other side, big step, move that hand, kick through. There's a lot going on with this one. Big step, kick through. Step back, start with a big step, move that hand, kick the opposite leg through. Keep it off the ground if you can. Pull right back, load, step, kick through. Pull right back, load, step, kick through. Sit out, open those shoulders up. Last one, I'm gonna do my weak side again. Step kick through. Perfect. Okie dokie. I'm actually going to take my socks off because they're a little slick. My feet are even more fluorescent than my socks though. So you can see, uh, you can see a little bit better. Okay. So broad jumps with a step back option. I uh, would step back. I don't care how you get back. Here's what's up. We're just getting warmed up. So I'm just going to hop forward, hop, 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 and then step back, step back, step back, step back. As these knees and hips get a little more warm, step, 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 step. Then I'm going to start jumping farther, okay? I'm gonna start the clock, jump, land soft. That's the most important part. Jump, 
land soft, most important part. Step back, step back, step back, step back, step back, step back. Jump, land soft. Jump, land soft. Step, 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 step. Big jump, land soft. Big jump, land soft. Step, 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 step. Halfway there, land soft. Land soft, like you got two delicious beverages in your hand and you don't want to spill them when you land. Step, 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 step. We got two more rounds of bounds, probably. Whoa. Step, 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 step. One more time. Hop, land soft, more of a hop than a bound. Step, 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 step. Perfect, okay, so our legs are cooking now, right? We got mantis squats. So I'm going to use my strong leg first because my left leg didn't really like that last one. You're gonna load up your uh, whatever leg you've chosen. About 90% of your weight, okie dokie. Another 10% here in that back leg is just a kickstand. So I'm doing, in essence, just a single legged squat, a little bit of a kickstand over here. Stank your leg out to the side. Five, four, three, two, one. Time I just started 10 seconds ago. Bring it down, down, down. A little touch if you want. Push right back up. 90, 10, 80, 20, 70, 30. As long as you're trying your best and you're isolating this uh, lead leg, this base leg, you're a winner in my book. <clears throat> Another thing I'll say is grip into the ground with your toes, with your feet. We want active feet so that the tissue is innervated, boom, all the way up to the knee, which then translates tension and force, muscular recruitment, all the way up to the hip, to the trunk, etc., etc. We got three more on this side. Bring it down. Two more. You can bring your foot in front if you want. That's gonna be a lot harder. One more. Excellent. Okay. Swear to it. Oh, well, I'm gonna use five, four. Three, two, one, load, 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 load. Take your time to set the joints up correctly. Set them up in a line. The knee can go over the, the toes just a tad, as long as your glutes are on. If your glutes aren't on, if you can't figure that out, hit me up in the DMs, we'll create a solution for you. And push, down, 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 and push. Now I've got a bit of a knee thing going on, so I've got like 60, 40 over here. Uh, just because we want the knee to get stronger, we want the legs to get stronger, but I don't want to overload it too quickly, right? You want to be responsible with how you progress yourself. Three more after this one. So three more now. Uh, two more now. Uh, one more. Uh, beautiful. All right. So I'm going to stretch that quad out for a second. Next in the order of operations, we've got five stars. Now you can add a push up to this if you'd like, but it is a plank where you're stacking your joints. Stack, stack, stack. Externally rotate. Open the shoulders. If you want to add that abduction from the top leg, that's totally cool. Down to a plank again. I'm going to go to circuit time. Roll over to the other side. If this is all you got, that's fine. It's totally fine. But if you want to go a little bit farther, a B duct, and right back to a plank. Roll it over, fly it out, a B duct, right back down. Think of that belly button zipped up tight. Or fall over. That happens from time to time. You fall over, just get back on. That's all you can do, right? Just get back on. Rotate over, we are 20 seconds away. Think of keeping a nice, straight, linear kinetic chain. And what that means in English is stack your joints. Stack your joints. Don't, uh, don't keep your, don't hinge your hips back like this. You're gonna be tempted to do that. You're gonna be tempted to flex those hips. Three, two, one, down. Don't worry, we'll get a chance to practice those again. Okie dokie artichoke. So, here we go. Last movement, 
Um, down dog push up. If you want to just do a down dog, if you're not feeling like a push up option today, that is kosher completely, all right? So let's, if you want to do that, if you want to do the down dog, then freaking do the down dog. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's set it up. Oh, down dog's just so good. Oh, okay, those shoulder blades away from the ears. You can see me okay. Yep. Shoulder blades away from the ears. Elbows back behind you. Thumbs are going to point towards one another. Fingertips are going to point forward. Uh, point your fingers in, in uh, particular. Now, here's what I want you to do. You're going to keep those shoulders wrapped down and around. Elbows point back. You're going to bend your elbows just a little bit. And you're going to push back up. You're going to bend your elbows just a little bit more. You're going to push right back up. And if that's all you want to do, awesome. That's fine. Bend those elbows. Push right back up. It can be very easy to let the shoulders sink up by the ears. Don't let that happen. Keep it down and away from the ears so that the shoulders themselves stay stable. 10 more seconds. As I mentioned, if you just want to hold downward dog and get, get um, mobile, that's totally fine. Boom, done. Nice. We'll throw in that dive bomber option um, next round. Okay, I gotta fix this quad real quick, this knee real quick. Um, please, if you got something that you need to fix, um, maybe a hamstring, maybe a hip, let's take 30 seconds. I'm just gonna crank out uh, some soft tissue work real fast so that I can jump better on the next round. Cool? Cool. Sometimes you gotta do that. You never wanna, unless you're competing and there's some like trophy or prize purse or, or I don't know, honor on the line, don't push through pain. Be smart, stop and fix it. Alrighty, so round two, we know what's coming. No surprises this time. That's a little better. Lunging beast with a kick through option. So we're gonna load back. I'm gonna start the clock. Load back, big step, kick through. Right back. Load, big step, kick through. Open that chest up and right back. Big step, kick through. Bring it right back. Big step, kick through. Open the chest, open the shoulder. Kick right back. Big step, kick through. Open chest, open shoulder. Balance. And bring it right back. Big step, kick through. Boom, boom. Load those hips, explode those hips. Kick through. All as one, kick through. Pull back, kick through. Pull back, go at your own pace. I'm just going a little faster. This is what I feel like doing right now. 15 seconds. Oh, this is a love-hate relationship between this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, go. All right, so we got, what do we got? Broad jumps or bounds or hops, whatever you want to call them, just land. Land light, okay? Alrighty, here we go. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one, hop, land. Oh, it's so much better on the knee. Land. Step, 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 step. Step, step, step. Take as many jumps as you want. Step, 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 step. Step, 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 coming up on halfway. Step, 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 float those hips back, float those hips back. <coughs> float those hips back, we've got 20 seconds left. That burn you're feeling, embrace it. It's good for you, it's good for you. Any other kind of pain, don't embrace that. Ooh, let's stop and fix that. Eight. Seven, six, last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Oh, those are harder than they look. Okie dokie, so we got mantis squats next. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my bad leg first because, well, I don't have a good leg to look forward to. Five, four, three, two. Got an uneven distribution of weight here. Time starts now. I'm at like 60% on my left, 40% on my right. So make it your own. Yeah. Uh, ow. 
Oh, quadricep, you and I have some business to discuss later. We're gonna fix you though. But I absolutely love what I do for a living because the human body is the most complex machine on the planet, right? In the universe, as far as we know. Um, as far as we know, keyword. Um, keywords. And all this stuff can go wrong because of our lifestyle, because of our movement patterns, because of, of what we do or what we don't do. Usually it's because we don't do what we don't do. We fall into these, these slumps of pain, dis-ease, um, or just malady of some sort. Three, two, one. And each one, each person that I work with has you know something, some goal, some issue. 90, 10. Uh, some goal, some issue. And it's like, hey, that's like, I don't know, a, uh, it's not a mystery, but it's like a, it's a puzzle. And you gotta find the different pieces of the puzzle. It is a mystery, I guess, but puzzle sounds cooler. You gotta find the different pieces of the puzzle and figure out what fits where and what uh, you have to investigate. And it's cool, it's like, it's uh, it's investigative, I guess. I can't think of another word for it, but, but it's pretty cool. You gotta be a bit of a detective with, uh, with, with the work that I do. And it's, uh, it's awesome. And it's really fulfilling when someone is like, oh yeah, I get it. Or yeah, we fixed it, 20 seconds left. <coughs> Very rewarding. And they feel better too. Oh, 15 seconds. And five, four, three, one more, two, one. Oh, beautiful. Okie dokie, five stars, here we go. Down onto the ground. Time starts in five, four, three, two, one. Screw those elbows into the ground, stack the shoulders. Open, open, open. And bring it right back down. Open, open, open. Fly that leg if you want, and bring it right back down. Now, some people commonly get pinches in their shoulders when they're doing this, and that's usually because your joints aren't stacked well. And what that means, gang, ooh, is that you're not externally rotating enough. Watch my shoulder real quick. This is what most people do. This is what I need you to do. No, yes. Starts at the elbow, but the money is in the shoulder right here. And fly. External rotation equals stability, equals structure. Internal rotation is usually the end of a movement. Hi, good morning. And if you're like the end of a punch or the end of a kick or the extension on a, on a run, you've got five, four, three. You're on camera already. You might as well say hi. Turn around and say hello. To everybody, like there's millions of people. Let me see this guy. Let me see this guy. Downward facing dog. Actually, my producer's here. He wants to make sure that everything's going well. Hello. Are you uh, are you working out well? No. We're just flipping through, and we're uh, saying nope. I don't want to work out right now. So bye. This is Hudson. He's pretty much a badass. He wrote all these workouts, and uh, he did it in Sanskrit in a mirror, and then I had to figure it out. Um, that's how smart he is. Mwah. All right, let's downward facing dog it. Oh, thank you, producer and director. Okie dokie, so let's get back into that downward facing dog. I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit. There we go, that'll work. Oh, oh, so, fingertips point forward, thumbs point out to the side, hips up, heels down. What's going on? Oh, that's a really cool bird. Sweet. Okay, so <laughs> hips up, heels down. And if this is all you want to do, great. Wrap those elbows down underneath your body. Bend just a tad. Look between your thumbs. What's up? If that's cool, get a little bit lower. Oh, and if you want to go full dive bomber, you're coming down. Bomb that ground. Upward facing dog. Get that booty back up in the air. Those are hard. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna do four more. Oh, one. Uh, chest goes down. Butt goes up. Uh, push that ground away. Three more. Uh, and if you're just in your downward facing dog, and that's where you want to be, uh, that's totally fine. Two more. Uh, uh, one more time. 
Big breath, here we go. <sighs> These are hard. Oh, mama to jump. Woo! Cool, that's two rounds down. Alrighty, so, no surprises. If you need to fix something, your caffeine intake, your quadriceps, your whatever, um, now's a good time to do it. Catch your breath, get some water, what else, you know? So, last round, with me at least, we've got Lunging Beast with a kick through. Shout out to my boy Mike Fitch for coming up with this one, or classifying it at least. Anyone says they, they classified it. He didn't say this, but if anyone ever says like, I invented movement, they're like, red flag, okay. I had a guy that I worked with, I won't name him, but he, uh, when I first started training like 15 years ago, he asked me, he had our manager ask me to please stop using, doing a certain movement because that was his movement. And I couldn't do anything, but it wasn't like a disrespectful laugh, but it was a laugh. And I was like, are you serious? Like, I, I thought it was a joke. Um, because it's like saying, hey, don't use those words. Those are my words, in my opinion. All right, last round. Here we go, lunging beast with the kick through option. Five, four, three, two, one. Big step, if that's all you wanna do, cool. If you wanna kick through also, even better. Pull it right back. Boom, back to a loaded beast. Lunge and kick, I just did the same side twice, so I'll do two on the other side. Big step, kick through, open those shoulders up. Right back, big step, kick through, open shoulders. And right back, boom. What's up, last round in the garage. Get it done early so you can go finish your, or start your day, or maybe you're ending your day. I don't know, but it's early right now. And I'm hoping this is making you guys feel more badass, harder to kill, a uh, better version of yourself. All that and then some. We've got 15 seconds left, gang. Whoa. Big step, kick through, pull the shoulders back. 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 Three, two, one. Yeah. Woo! All right. Oh, man. It's hard to do that. It's harder to talk and do that. Okay, we got bounds, hops, steps. If you want three, two, one, here we go. If you want to just step, and squat, step and squat, maybe that's in your toolbox, right? That's okay, step back, low. If you wanna jump, or hop rather, a little bit more, land light, maybe that's all you got in your toolbox, or you feel like doing today. If you wanna take a really big jump, then that's fine too. Just step back, nice and light, okay? I'm gonna do two, because it feels good on the knee. We got 30 seconds left. You can kiss this terrible exercise. Step, 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 step. I mean, you guys are only allowed to do this movement here because this is my movement. I made it up. <laughs> I invented it. <laughs> 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah! All right, all right. <clears throat> Mantis. I'm doing bad leg first, because I, I don't want to do it later. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, kick stand. Down, 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 up, up, up. Now when you're doing slow methodical movements like this, we go from two ballistic movements to a slow strength movement. Focus on the quality of your movements, right? Think about the four corners of the foot. No, they're not really corners, but constellations don't really look like bears and hunters and dippers. Just use your imagination, right? So, uh, grip in with the big toe, little toe, everything in between. Distribute your weight evenly over the working foot and the, um, the activation, the innervation will be distributed equally up the leg. 20 seconds left. And if not, then just listen to me babble and we'll get through this together faster because I java 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 a lot by design to educate and to distract and I hope that it's working 10 seconds 9 8 7 6 5 glutes 4 3 2 ah boom all right good leg this is the easy one five four 
Three, two, one, here we go. Down, 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 down. Boom. Down, 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 down. Right back up. Down, 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 down. Right back up. Down, 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 down. Right back up. Down, 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 down. And up. Down, 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 down. Right back up. Down, down, down. 20 seconds in. Third of the way there. I also like to fractionate it when I'm doing longer work sets. I just break it up into fractions. Running miles, things like that, anything over 10 or whatever. Um, the secret is if you're running that long, don't think about it until you're over halfway done. 20 seconds left, but if it's a longer work set, calories on a bike or a ski erg or whatever, um, just fractionate it, fifth of the way there, 10th of the way there, halfway there. And when you're halfway there, you're like, oh, okay, this far, might as well finish. Five, four, three, <clears throat> Two, one, perfect. Okay, so five stars, here we go. Uh, most important thing I can tell you, screw those arms in. When I say screw your arms in, I don't mean flip them around, I mean grip and create torque. And that's gonna stabilize the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one, fold it open. Fly that leg. You got that, you can fly your leg. Even if it's just a little you can try it. Keep those hips in extension. That means don't fold forward. Squeeze your butt and extend out. All right, back down. Open, open, open. Squeeze out. Right back down. Open, open, open. Squeeze out. Right back down. 30 seconds left. Halfway there. We fractionated it. Is that even a word? If it's not a word, it is now. I made it up. Oh, if not, somebody did it before me. Oh, now we're using it. But I said it, so here it is. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do a weak set again. Beautiful, okay. We got one more minute of work, gang. So if you wanna do just down dog, great. If you wanna do down dog, push up one tenth of the range, right, mate. one half the range, two fifths of the range, whatever. Keep the elbows back, keep the shoulders down. If you wanna do a dive bomb or push up, I'm gonna walk you through those steps right now. So, getting down there is the easy part. It's getting back is hard. You gotta throw those hips up. So, wrap the elbows. I'm gonna scoop down and up. Down dog to up dog. Now, if you're having trouble flipping back up, you can just fold back to down dog, right? Scoop through, down facing dog. But if you're a little bit stronger, or you want to get stronger, here's what I invite you to try. Elbows underneath. Now, you're going to go back the same way you came into that. So, hips go up, scoop down, bend those elbows, and push. You can give yourself a little bit of a hike with the hips if you'd like. we got 20 seconds left. Let's get four of these bad boys. Work to your own level of fitness. Three more. Big breath, swoopy to do. Two more, God, I hate these. But last one, externally rotate the shoulders. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice, beautiful, good work. All right, gang, so I hope you've enjoyed this edition of the body garage if you have any questions hit me up in the dms please like subscribe to the youtube channel um if you have any requests uh, i am love to answer questions and answer requests so um that's it go be a good person because it's way easier to be the opposite have a good day peace <laughs>